Hello friends, welcome back to Tutorial Days and in this video you are learning Angular 17. And in this video I will explain you, I will show you that how the folder structure works in Angular. So in the previous video I have installed this project. In case you have missed that video then I st strongly recommend you to check that video first. In this video we will be discussing about the directory structure, the file structure of Angular 17. So guys, this is the whole structure here there are three configuration file in this the first file configuration file is package.json <coughs> in this package.json you can see here is the project and the version then script ng ng serve start for building and for bu there are different command here provided so at this point of time it you might be not understanding much about this but you can understand this is a configuration file and whenever you are installing any new package then it is restored here okay and uh, the current version of angular you can see here also 17.3.0 so these are the uh, files here you can see the next one and typescript version you can see it is displaying as well that 5.4.2 is used in this project the second configuration file is angular.json so this is totally related to angular the previous one was uh, related to complete project and this one is related to angular here one also you can see schema new project the project name and the projects application the different configuration file here you can see okay and the next one is tsconfig so this one is specially for how the TypeScript file will be converted, uh, transformed into uh, the JavaScript, native JavaScript file. And here you can see dist output directory. So it is de defining the where out after compiling where it will create a new directory. So in short, uh, this one is for configuration for TypeScript. Okay, and the target here you can see ES ES two point uh, sorry ES two zero two two so this is the version name and module name also so it will be converting into this module after compiling so these were the three configuration file after this uh, let's discuss about this node modules when we install then it requires a lot of file here you can see if you uh, expand then you will find here a lot of directories and angular uh, the most common thing you can find here in angular inside angular you can see animations common core okay so these are the things we which will be including you don't have to uh, directly touch this file it gets automatically installed and configured from there and the most <coughs> important uh, directory which we will be working on and that is src source inside src the first file is index.html this is the first file this is the first file when you run the project this file runs first into the browser here you can see it doesn't contain much information it has just title and uh, this viewport and one very important uh, code here you can see is app root okay i will explain you that what is the relation of this app root and here you can see one more file and that is main.ts remember when we run the project then angular first of all runs this main.ts file okay in main.ts file there is one module called app module which is including here you can see okay so what happens first runs main.ts and then main.ts looks for this app module and app module is inside app folder here and app module is directly connected to app component okay so app component is related to app module and app module is related to main ts so this is the bootstrapping uh, file that means when you compile the project then first this file runs and in output when it displays to the browser the first file which runs is index.html so now you might be wondering what is this okay let me show you if you go to app component.ts here 
then you will find here this is called metadata this is a component whole thing is component okay and we are calling here the dependency the class here component from here this is the module and we are calling from where here node modules and then here you can see angular core so angular and then you will find here core okay so this one is uh, including here we don't have to work on this now this app root is connected to index.html index.html here this one okay so that is why so it is more of like if you know javascript then you might be knowing id so based on id we load something so same happens here so after compiling it will load the content here app root if you go to the browser and then inspect then you will find here in console uh, here you can see app root inside app root it is uh, dis, uh, loading all this file main and then inside this ng content left right center whatever okay and the compiled file is polyfills and then main.js so what i'll do let's go here and then from app component.ts and yes this app component.ts this is called metadata that means additional information the main module is the main class is export class app component which has one attribute one uh, variable only and that is uh, title now this one is being called here this html so angular is mvvm model view view model so this is model and this one is our uh, main file and this is our uh, css file so this is now you might be wondering that here is also one css file this css file is for global that means for all the components this style.css for all components but if you want to use for specific component any specific component for example i want to use any style sheet only for this app component or here then you can write the code here okay now uh, this one is for spec for testing purpose okay so you can ignore at this point of time you should focus on th these two files app component.ts and app component.html so the content what you are seeing here mm, let me show you the content what you are seeing here is coming from app component.html so guys let's go here and what i will do just delete i'll write here simple h1 tag and then welcome now it uses hot reload so automatically you can see it got uh, re uh, reloaded here and here h1 ng content welcome what we have written it is here. now one very important thing if you open view source then you can see this content is not displaying there okay here you can see nowhere it is written only app root it is written here app root is mentioned here so what happens so where is this code where is this code where is the content actually this whole thing is compiled and the content is inside this polyfields.js so whatever we are writing here for example this welcome it is actually kept inside main.js and what is this polyfills this polyfill files is for backward compatibility for es module uh, compatibility browser compatibility okay so these two files are necessary but the code what you are writing inside app.html it is inside this main.html if you open then you won't be able to understand anything it it you will feel as if it has been written by some madman okay so actually the whole code is converted into javascript code we don't have to worry about this at all right but here you can see app component dot uh, somewhere it is mentioned i just saw here app component and all these things app root okay so it only understand understood by this so we don't have to worry about this at all okay but for just verifying person uh, purpose i was just displaying you that how this thing works so guys that's it in this uh, directory and folder structure of this angular we will be moving next in the next video and we will see that how what is component and how we can create different component and how we can 
interconnect the components into a single file and we can run the project so stay connected let's meet in the next video